Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for taking your time and attending our webinar. I am very excited to see so many people here and realize the interest on our new products. That's very nice. Today we will speak about our new product, Starwind Storage Appliance, a turnkey hardware solution that is pre-built and pre-configured, which means indeed much less work for you. I would really appreciate a short confirmation via chat or question box that you can see my screen and hear me well, so we can start immediately. Thank you very much, Sam. So let's start. Before we start, I want to remind you that this current webinar is being recorded and will be available at Starwind's YouTube channel as soon as we have finished. So don't worry if you miss something because of urgent call, internet access outage, data center blackout, or whatever may happen in our extremely hard and unpredictable IT professional's life. You can easily review this webinar later. Let me shortly introduce myself. My name is Terrace. I am heading sales engineering department here at Starwind being directly involved in the development of new products, new features, and I am incredibly pleased and it is a great honor for me to present our new product to you today. Today's agenda is quite long as you can see, yet I will do my best to be short and constructive. We will start with a short overview of the Starwind Storage Appliance, or short name SA. The same manner as our hyperconverged appliance is called HCA. Then I will try to explain my vision about customers for whom this product might be extremely interesting, um, following with the explanation of the internal architecture of the new appliance and some main concepts on how it actually works. We will shortly focus on components that the appliance consists of and review the actual product's model line that counts three general editions with two sub-models, each mentioning the actual price information. Overview regarding scaling options will be quite short since they are already traditional for our company and concentrate your attention on storage appliance benefits, performance and features. Another extremely important point I have to mention today is product's technical support. And after all, I will be extremely glad to answer your questions. Let's start. As you already know, Starwind software has been around for over 10 years already, providing extremely efficient software-defined storage called Starwind Virtual SAN. More than a year ago, we released a hardware product, Hyperconverged Appliance, that was incredibly successful and brought us hundreds of satisfied customers and a lot of positive feedback. Staying in close contact with our customers and analyzing their feedback, along with market demands, we have realized that there are a lot of small business and branch offices that need more storage than our hyperconverged appliance or any other hyperconverged products usually offer. Of course, the major part of, our, of your uh, production virtual machines remain fixed in terms of consuming storage or they do grow, but very slowly. But we all know the fact that file servers, mail servers, database servers, tend to grow exponentially and sometimes even unpredictable resulting additional complexity in planning a hyperconverged system in terms of storage. There are some very nice SMB and Robo products on the market out there like QNAP or Synology or you know and many IT guys install these as production storage. But uh, let me be true here. The main purpose their main purpose is a backup, which they do quite perfectly, not production. Lack of failover capabilities, no true SMB, along with proprietary software inside these boxes. 
um, makes them merely suitable for production purposes. On the other side, there are a lot of storage vendors that create rack mount storage servers, but the pricing and positioning are far away from small business and robo need mostly having the striking word enterprise and product or model name. So many of us IT guys spend their time building such kind of systems by themselves, for example, using commodity hardware and disks and depending on time spent while planning such system uh, were more or less stable, more or less fast and complicated in terms of support, of course. So we did what we did is a high-end storage platform built with what we call best-of-breed commodity components that can serve as high-performance primary storage for server virtualization, for VDI, database and essential big data scenarios, some kind of secondary backup tier, for example, with an optional gateway to, let's say, Azure Public Cloud. A traditional virtualization environment looks like the diagram on the left side. You have some servers that do the main virtualization job and serve as a traditional compute nodes, or these might be some hyper-converged boxes that do not have enough locally attached storage inside, for example. Then you usually have some primary NAS or SAN or whatever storage from another vendor that needs to be treated and supported separately and a disaster recovery solution additionally that again is provided by some another vendor and is completely separated from both previous parts resulting in extreme complexity in management and support. Starving Storage Appliance seamlessly integrates not only the existing Starwind hyper-converged appliances based infrastructure, but also in your existing virtualization system, independent of vendor and hypervisor, providing you with a simplified management of storage and disaster recovery. If your current virtualized environment is extremely flexible and it is very complicated to plan a suitable hyper-converged configuration, our storage appliance is a perfect base to create a compute and storage separated architecture, upgrading these layers on demand independently from each other, significantly saving your costs compared to hyperconverged scaling, which is kind of obvious, I think. And as I already mentioned, it is also a good option to boost your existing hyperconverged infrastructure with additional storage. The component's footprint of the storage appliance is quite traditional for Starwind. We use Dell PowerEdge R730XD servers armed with six PCI Express slots that provide enough resources to process storage requests and run application and data. Networking background is powered by one of my favorite vendors, really, the Mellanox. These robust pieces of hardware provide incredibly high performance, while still being very flexible platforms, with low power consumption and using multi-host technology across multiple cores. Obviously, most of the exciting features of the appliances in sense of virtual shared storage are provided by well-known starving virtual SAN inside. Our software-based, hypervisor-centric virtual machine storage that mirrors hard disk and flash drives between the servers, building a classic converged architecture on a dedicated set of hosts, along with providing cached iSCSI black-level connectivity, asynchronous replication, virtual tape library, and tape redirector features. Virtual machine backup and replication is provided by Veeam. It's fast, it's flexible, and it provides a reliable recovery of virtualized applications and data as a single backup and replication solution. A frequent question that I hear from possible customers is regarding the pricing of our solution since Dell is known not only because of exceptional quality and usability of their server hardware, but also because of somewhat higher pricing compared to other similar vendors and thus result in a higher price for our hardware solution. Therefore, they are usually pleasantly surprised after rece receiving a final quotation from our sales dep. I will try to explain that. We are producing a large amount of Dell-based hardware products. 
and we have an admirable discount from Dell for their hardware. Nothing special. A lot of other players on the market actually do the same. What they do not, and we are proud about, that we are really good guys and gladly share this discount with our customers, which means you will probably never be able to build such kind of systems from the components by yourself at the same price. Okay, let me finish with selling points and dig into technology and engineering. That's definitely more interesting for all of us. Star in Storage Appliance model line comprises of three general highly versatile models. SA130 is the smallest representative and is a fast and scalable single controller storage box that is ideal for sequential workloads and has two editions. SA130D is designed for capacity demanding applications while SA130H adds flash for accelerated restores under heavy load. SA230 is a general purpose dual controller storage platform for the primary workload like virtualization, virtual desktop infrastructure, databases that offer a high uptime and fault tolerance and can also be flash accelerated. SA330 is the most complex, ultra-performing all flash and fault tolerance storage platform with an extra level of fault tolerance achieved by three-way all active synchronous replication. Let's take a look at the details. SA130, single controller storage server, may have up to 128 terabytes of storage. Of course, this amount is customizable depending on your needs. Storage appliance is powered by Intel Xeon E52609 CPU family, has 12 gigabytes of RAM that provides enough compute power not only for the storage itself and for the storage mechanisms, but also for the appliance running on it and for the applications running on it. It has two 1 gig ports and two 10 gigabit ports for network connectivity, has some free SATA and SAS slots for further upgrades and may scale up to 16 hosts in a row. Next one, SA230, a highly available and fault tolerant dual controller storage platform for most types of your primary workload. It is armed with double Intel Xeon E52620 CPUs and has 32 gigs of RAM. This model utilizes four times 10 or 25 gigs network links for its private connectivity like data synchronization and service traffic and has another 4 times 1 gig plus 4 times 10 gigabit network links for client connectivity. This one can provide up to 40 terabytes of customizable storage for you. To my personal opinion, SA330 is the most exciting storage appliance model, not only because it's the fastest one because of all flash storage background, but also because the beautiful architecture that stands behind it, resulting in incredible cost effectiveness. This appliance consists of three nodes and depending on the addition, one or two of these three is powered by all flash drives and the rest is based on Starwind's log structured file system component. For you that means that you get three nodes based all flash performance at an unbeatable price with the ability of transparent failover high availability and fault tolerance. In the case of a SA330 flash model, if a flash node fails, you will obviously notice some performance drop, but will still be able to gracefully bring your uncritical virtual machines or applications down and have your time to bring the flash mode back. In the case of a SA330 redundant flash model, the system keeps same flash performance even in the case of failure, for both editions, non-flash hosts are being used to storage the cold data. Maximum usable capacity is around 35 terabytes. It has a powerful network backbone with 4 times 40 or even 4 times 50 gigabits switchless interconnection and 6 times 1 gigabit plus 6 times 40 or even 6 times 50 gigabits are used for client connectivity. 
Scaling options are also traditional to those of you who are familiar with our products. Starving storage appliances can do both. Scale up by adding, by adding individual disk and flash modules or JBODs and scale out by adding ready controller nodes. Since all our products are based on commodity hardware, these scalings can be done by the customer after a short consultation with our technical support department in a couple of minutes. I have explained most of the benefits during previous slides, but would like to summarize them again. Storage appliance comes completely pre-built and pre-configured according to customers, according to your needs. Even the final steps on integrating it into your current infrastructure, like domain join, some tunings and optimization, can be done by our professionals during a short joint remote sessions. So it literally, literally requires little effort and no special skills from the IT team to attach Starwind storage appliance to any existing infrastructure. This solution can run various applications, including antivirus, backup and management on top of the storage, offloading much of the I.O. from the compute cluster and provides exceptional flexibility in terms of connectivity with multiple protocols like TrueSMB 3.0, including RDMA, block level iSCSI, network file system and so on. It has a rich variety of management options that will be even more extended with the upcoming web management interface, VMware vCenter plugin and virtual volumes functionality. And it is still very cost effective since it costs much less to purchase than even do-it-yourself kits to build. It uses only commodity components and no expensive proprietary hardware at all. Single point of contact is our another known key benefit. All hardware and software components of Starwind storage appliance are covered by a single Starwind 24 at 7 at whole year support umbrella. Instead of messing around with a couple of various support services, just call us and our engineers will fix the issue in shortest time, independent of the root cause, whether it's a hardware malfunction, software issue, or just a slight misconfiguration. So, now it's time for your questions. I will make a short five minutes delay and you can use a question box or a chat box to address your questions and I will do my best to answer them all. Thank you very much for attending these webinars and hope to see you soon. Bye.